Hey everyone, it's Jessica from Shark Tone Records. Today, we've got Ollie from the band Broadside and Dan, music supervisor and composer of Ratatouille, the TikTok musical, the first TikTok production to be eligible for an Emmy. These guys are participating in what we like to call the Ratatouille Challenge. Basically, they'll be assembling a Ratatouille, and the challenge is that they'll only have the time it takes for Ollie's song, Foolish Believer, to finish. Good luck, guys. Down three, two. Good idea, bad idea. Okay, I don't know. Let's see. I know I'm unclear, but uh, let me just say I'm obsessed with this song, and I could I listened to it like 16 times on my walk to work today. Um, hey, you're flattering me. Thank you very much. No, the um, chorus is such a banger. I, like especially this when it drops later, like out. I'm obsessed with it. I um. So I wanted to try something because you know I'm. I don't know, but somehow I got older. I don't know. What to <laughs> and I've been making like strictly pop punk music up to this point with my band. And I wanted to try yeah. something with production value, essentially, and just having a bigger chorus. So it's not very cool to have one of these like, hey, guys, let's sing along moments in the like younger, edgy scene. But for me, yeah. as a grown dreamer, it was like, I just can't wait to get back on stage and sing this chorus. So it really is flattering, especially coming from you to hear something like that, um, because I'm really excited to perform oh, right. this once we get a chance. <laughs> it really does bring me back. Like, I feel like I want to be like banging my head in like a high school dance. Like it gives me like those yeah. vibes of like what was, you know, big when I was in high school. Okay. But also contemporary, like especially the production value is so contemporary. It's like a beautiful mix of both of those. That is insane. I, I, again, I, I want to say, I'm just going to say thank you <laughs> because because I, I really, we put the record out during this whole thing. So I'm not, I don't even know how it's going to be received other than like Spotify numbers, which could be anything. But, you know, shifting it, I mean, how it are is. you feeling? Ah, how are you feeling just in your every day? Like, you know, I'm good. Has anything Are you a Superman now? Like, what's the, what's the <laughs> energy that you wake up with? You know, it's really crazy because uh, the pandemic was uh, the best thing that's ever happened to my career, which is like really hard thing to sort of like- I get it, yeah. Deal with, um, be, but it's true because TikTok is, I, I'd been taking the active steps to become a composer and become a mm -hmm. music supervisor and do all those things. But, you know, it sort of like kickstarted my career, um, but it's been great. And like here in New York right now, you know, because mm -hmm. we are at 70%, um, masks or 70% vaccination and stuff, it, it really feels like home again, which is just mm. really nice to like be back in New York in a summer in New York. Um, but mm. also to like walk into Times Square and see a giant Ratatouille the musical billboard, right. like sort of broke me. You're like, oh, I've seen that. I've heard of that. I was like, <laughs> what? Well, and funnily enough, I actually haven't made Ratatouille, so this is my first time that I'm doing it. I thought I had until this very moment. I'm realizing this is the hardest thing. I I normally I have so many questions for you, but I'm just looking at this like, what the hell am I looking at? You know? <laughs> yes, very much so. Uh, but uh, it goes on. But yeah. So uh, so what's next for you? Like, what are you currently working on? Slash, obviously, amongst a million other things you got to do, probably a million more um, <laughs> public PR things you got to do as well. So thank you for your oh, time. Oh today. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. Like I said, I am now a huge fan. Like, I'm so glad I discovered you because of this, because I, and I, I mean, I listen to you. I'm, yes, I'm very obsessed with it. Um, oh no, did we reach the end? Are we it in feels the bridge? Like it's no. the end. No, we're in the end. We're in the end. Oh, jeez, that happened fast. I know. I'm like, do I rewind? What's the setup here? I mean, I'm almost good. I almost made it. Yeah, I'm, almost, made I'm, it. I'm mostly good, I think. Top it off a little more. That's what Photoshop oh, I didn't is get for. to like sing along to the chorus. I, like, I mean, I already said that, but it is the, that chorus just hits so hard. Thank you very much. I, I, I uh, let me ask you a question. What would you Please. say is the, the number one challenge that you felt as you, the individual, the creator, the dreamer, what is the one thing you said, I've overcome this. I, I can officially put it in my, it's done part of your process. And it can be with music, it could be with, you know, self, where's, where's the point in your life where you said, that's behind me, I'm no longer gonna stress about that because I got this. When you know it what it was? Music. What? It was, it was, it's not even the music part of it. It okay. is just the, the social media and like how terrible people can be. And like yes. at first when, 
when my stuff was really taking off, it like really hurt me. And it was like, these people, I, I, if I don't even need to give them my time, which is like really hard for me because I'm a people pleaser. So I think okay. like, especially over the pandemic, that is like the most difficult thing, but I was able to sort of be like, you know what, I'm happy with what I'm putting out. I'm proud of this. And like, if people yeah. don't like it, you don't like it, which is hard. And you know, I still doubt that, but I've, I've gotten much better, I think. I think once you eliminate that, you realize that more people will come from doing what you want. And like the, the more people will stick around seeing this, this is genuine, this is the type of content I want to consume, then the people, they get so bored. You know, they're so fickle, the people that are coming after you in a cruel way. So they get bored, they're like, oh, and eventually they might turn into someone who loves you. But that's that's a good that's a good perspective and point, I think, is to be able to overcome that initial backlash. Because before it's like you set it up, it goes to this big production thing, it's out in the world and it's marketed to be sold perfectly. But with you being the creator, it goes out there and it's like, they're gonna tell you whether it's good or bad immediately. So you're yeah. holding a beautiful talent <laughs> and you're also trying to be like, this is my baby, but some people are like, this sucks. What, doesn't make sense, you know, whatever. Um, well, you. no, totally. And I mean, I think in general, quarantine forced all of us to like evaluate our mental health. Yeah. And like that yeah. was a big thing of like not seeking that external um, validation from people, which yeah. like we inherently have to as an artist. Yeah. But fighting with that, I'm done. I love that. I'm done too. I mean, I'm not, I'm, a, I'm embarrassed of it, <laughs> but I'm happy that I'm here with you. you know? I was like, this, it, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, That's mine is like a, what is it? Oh, yours what is happened? much better. Don't I was just like, I feel like ramekins were like the easier choice, so that's what I went yeah. with, but. Way classier too, so. <laughs> I, uh, and let's, yeah, I think we let's know this. Time. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. I'm gonna put these in for 40 minutes now um, and see what happens. But yeah, um, I don't know, thank you again. I wish we could have talked more. I'm sure we'll talk at some point, um, but this was just one of those. One of those things. <laughs> I know that. No, that was fun. I mean, sorry that I like just talked about how much I love your songs. <laughs> it's so. No, good. I I'm nervous. So I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just. I I just still can't believe it, and I, I am flattered. And again, it's like you would be the first musician musician that I've talked to about this record in general. I haven't had the opportunity to tour or whatever it's... usually. So I'm just talking to you, and I'm just like, ah, I thought you were gonna be like, yeah, what's what's your name? Who are you, little peasant? So it's nice it's, to no. meet with camaraderie. <laughs> It's so good. And I think, you know, this was also fake because I like listened to a bunch of songs on, and different artists and stuff. And I was like, immediately when I heard the song, I was like, I'm obsessed with this. And then when I got to the end of the chorus and the fact that it's, uh, uh, I want to be remembered. And like yeah. the song that we wrote for Ratatouille that is yeah. Emmy eligible is called Remember My Name. And I was like, yep, meant to be. I love this. And I'm so excited. 